Hello viewers, we are going to install Oracle Apex 5.1.2 in Windows. You know we have already shown how to uh, install Oracle Apex in Linux, but uh, because I've, I am receiving a lot of emails and a lot of comments that you are, you are facing uh, some issues in Windows. So I've decided to do this video for you. Uh, in this installation, I am, I am doing it in Windows 10, 64-bit with database 12.1 okay see we are we have downloaded apex and unzipped the apex in c folder in this folder apex underscore 5.1.2 and then apex this is the this is our installation location now we will have to log in into the sql plus as sysdba from within this location so let's log into SQL Plus. Okay, you are connected. Now what you will have to do is very simple. You see we have already so let's see the table name. Select name from V dollar. dollar table space you see this is the apex data we have now we will use this table space for our installation so let's begin with our installation a at apex ins dot sql apex data underscore data data apex data temp Let's discuss a bit here. This is the file we're gonna use. This is a, a script file, SQL file where all the commands are written. This is the Apex data table space name where the um, Apex related data will be metadata will be saved. And this is the uh, content of the flows file. Okay. If I upload any images or something like that those will be uploaded in a schema and that schema will store the data in this table space now we are using the same table space for the same uh, for the different job we could use it use here a uh, different table space as well but i am not doing that i am using the same table space here and table space temp and this is the temporary table space of the system. I am using the system temporary table space. It is better to use a different temporary table space for your installation. And then this is the I. This is the virtual drive where the, all the images will, will be loaded. Okay. So this is the syntax. Now enter. The installation has begun. Now sit back and relax. Now let's move to the next step now exit now what you will have to do you will have to load the images let's load the image concentrate that this is the part where most of the beginners make mistakes so concentrate on this portion and remember we are still in the apex apex location and we will log into SQL plus from this location SQL plus as sysdba okay now we will issue the command apex e sorry epg config dot sql now what we're gonna do is we will mention we will mention only this now what is the difference between this one and this one is we're not going to apex okay we are mentioning here the folder just upper to the apex okay remember this so this is the syntax apex epg config dot sql and then this location okay now enter directory created 
now the images are being loaded into the database these images are actually the apex images and this kind of installation is called epg embedded plsql gateway where all the images are loaded into the database it will take a while okay now our image loading is complete now one of the part is ready now uh, we will have to unlock some of the schemas and then our process will be ready to deploy so let's unlock alter alter user apex public user account account unlock identified by Okay, this is the password. Ready. Okay, zero five zero one zero zero. Account unlock and defend with this one. and close five close five so these are the schema a users who are going to unlock and change the password of this one now we'll check one other thing that is select dbms underscore xdb dot get http port from 12 zero so we will set the port exec execute execute the the ns underscore xdb dot set http port 8080 okay complete now we'll see the port okay this is the port now most of the job is done we will do another thing that is change the admin password of the apex c h a p x c h e w d dot s q l okay uh enter the administrator's password name keep it as it is admin okay it is already exist now email let's say um mm, admin at testlab dot com okay password now well, password is created now time to test if the installation is ready now let's go to internet explorer http sorry http already here yes we are already we have installed apex successfully now let's log in we are logged into apex 5.1.2 and let's see the version yes this is the version and we have been we have successfully installed oracle apex so it's very easy to install oracle apex anywhere in linux or in windows it should not differ anywhere so thank you for watching thank you everybody